consistently strong in content and if we had copyright law that we have today, around 150 years ago, or even 100 years ago, public libraries as we know today would not exist. When you write a book, marketing starts three months before you even start writing. Uh, reading a translation, um, we lose and we win something in the same time. You know, you can't base your publishing decisions on what's happening in the US. You do need to do some of that. Our film producers are too smart to waste their money in buying rights. They have this unpaid army called Aston Directors who are commissioned to read a lot of books. Very few <laughs> Tamil films are made with scripts. There are the same kinds of hierarchies that exist in the analog world, in the digital world. Moment there are mistakes, there's proofing errors, etc. That's the greatest damage. Every publisher now has uh, an ebook division of some kind, or how they have digital publishers, uh, they're driving ahead and they're surprising themselves um, with the growth of the ebook of the e market. We don't make a living off translation, and I'm glad we don't, frankly, because if it became a day job, I don't think it would be a very exciting affair. Academic journal publishers as the worst kind of capitalist thumb because they don't even invest in their authors and yet they reap the benefits and, and the authors do it for free for them. Okay. What is happening is all the cost of XML is going on to your print and which is why your prints are getting expensive. Everyone in publishing has exactly the same problem. They have content, there's an audience out there and how do you put the content in touch with the audience? realize is that the churn that we are going through today is what the music industry went through at least 10 years ago. 